Hello, today I would like to show you this beautiful loading station. What is so special about this loading station? Uh, it is probably the fastest belt based loading station that uh, uh, you can do in uh, Vanilla Factorio. It uses two tricks up its sleeve to achieve this. First of all, uh, as you can see, it uses uh, uh, cargo wagons uh, to increase the speed of uh, loading. Uh, why is that? Uh, the cargo wagon, uh, you can fit a second line of long inserters, red inserters here, as you can see, between the cargo wagon and uh, the wagon uh, we would like to load uh, with material uh, so you get a slightly faster uh, loading speed about 15% I don't remember the exact uh, percentage but yes you can get a bit faster uh, now another trick that it uses is this arrangement uh, where it uses uh, uh, belts of material that goes per perpendicular to a yellow belt here and uh, the fact that the inserters try to get from the far lane increase the speed uh, by which they can insert into the wagons themselves uh, now as you can see here we have 24 uh, lanes of blue belts uh, in reality uh, if you let it uh, work constantly you will get about 20 uh, lanes of materials constantly of input or about uh, 5 belts for each uh, train wagon now, here's the blueprint. Now, it, it says that uh, the loading takes about 5.21 seconds or 3313 ticks for 50 stack items like ore. It uses a second line of long inserts to increase the loading speed. As I told you before, it's closer to 20 full blue belts of continuous input or 5 belts per wagon. Therefore, optimal operation is with 20 plus belts. I would suggest using 4, 5 to 6 belt balancers if you use 20. The extra belts help with balancing and having extra production while an ore patch is drying of resources can be useful as well, so that you won't fall in a suboptimal operation immediately. Uh, now, loading between the train wagon and uh, the wagons here can be pretty fast. Uh, but in the long run, if it does this continuously, as continuously as it can get between train, uh, between its train, uh, because this is too fast and this is slower this has to keep up with this it adds about five seconds between uh, uh, each train load uh, for the inserters to catch up with these inserters from the inserters of the belts now uh, i will show you in practice here i have made uh, this station now here as you can see I'm using a 5 to 6 lane balancer to show you that uh, the flow of material is continuous uh, so that uh, it can uh, handle about 20 there you go it can handle about 20 lanes continuous flow of 20 lanes uh, of materials there you go.
as you can see, is almost the, it's almost continuous for all the lanes. Now, here I have some made some logic to this one shows how much uh, ticks pass uh, for of time uh, for the train while it stays in the station. As you can see now, it increases. It will reset at 600. There you go. This is how much time it takes to load. Uh, as you can see, uh, tw with 20 lengths of materials, they can keep up with the loading. Just fine. Uh, now, if uh, I have here another train waiting to show you that after this train leaves it will take about five seconds for this to stop and as you can see oh sorry it went straight for unloading i think ah my bad anyway but uh, you could see that uh, it had enough time between uh, each train for the inserters to stop working. Okay. Hopefully we will get it now. Nah. There you go. Okay. Now, um, some of you might ask. Oh my god, 20 lanes of material. How easy is it? Uh, to get from uh, one or parts. Now, I have made around here a setup to show you that while we do have uh, to have increased mining productivity, it doesn't need to be extremely high. Uh, here I'm having mining productivity 29 in the north parts of about 12, mm, 10 million anyway about 10 million and as you can see the production is about uh, 44,000 uh, per minute or uh, about 16 and something belts out of this ore parts what have I done here I have Done. Simply this, I have put some miners facing right and some miners facing the other side and then I've placed belts for each side, one for the right and then one for the left, etc, etc, here. And then I ended up with uh, a bit more than 16 lanes. So while difficult, it's not impossible. Uh, you don't need to have crazy levels of uh, uh, mining productivity or extremely big uh, ore parts. This one is a modest one for a late game. And uh, the strategy is not really that complicated. You place some miners facing in one direction, others in the other direction. If the patch is big enough, you might even put some miners looking up and down and uh, use every single side of uh, the mining patch up, down, left, right it's not that difficult to achieve I believe ok um, now here is the
output that I'm using of 8 lanes as you can see it's pretty much filled to a brim with materials here and now uh, here I'm using a 5 to 6 lane balancer uh, if you would like I would I would like also to show you something that uh, isn't meant by me. Uh, this is Renquist's balancers. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it uh, wrong. Uh, it is a very useful book of balancers by Renquist. Uh, here I'm using his um, five to six balancer, but there are balancers for all your needs you can google it if you want uh, so if we drop from 20 lanes of wound input to a lower to 16 belts of input we can use a 4 to 6 balancer like this one here and uh, see what happens There you go. As you can see, what happens now? What happens now is that after it's loading, it takes a lot more time uh, for the inserters to stop. Time, if not a lot, a bit more time. Uh, time increases, therefore, between uh, each train loading. If uh, before you could uh, have one train after the other, gradually, as you drop to lower and uh, lower uh, belts as input uh, in order to keep up uh, without sacrificing your fast loading uh, it uh, will have uh, to take longer and longer time uh, between each train, each train loading um, you can see also that uh, the belts are getting thin of materials showing that uh, the rate that uh, your uh, your uh, material that you have uh, uh, in the car go wagons uh, it uh, goes into a slower pace than before we can go even to lower belts a lower number to 12 using balancers again there are 3 to 6 balancer we want this one ok and uh, you will understand that why uh, the speed between uh, loading uh, from a, wagon, a train wagon to a train wagon is constant uh, if your wagons are dried with materials due to the belts that can keep up you will eventually get uh, a lower uh, loading speed if these dry up uh, now let's remove this and go to 3 to 6 Now we have in total 12 lanes of input. As you can see, 
they get thinner and thinner. They're pretty thin. Since they can't keep up as easily as before. And here I'm, I have uh, two trains. You don't get uh, one train after the other, so it has some time to rest. Okay? But if you want to have one train after the other, the less belts you use, the worse the result will be. As you can see, it takes even more time than before for your inserters after it's load to stop working. Oh, and by the way, your ah, the trains come not completely empty now because they have completely congested the unloading station. Ah, whatever. So they cheat a bit. They cheat. Anyway, I hope uh, you like this uh, loading station that I show you today. It's probably, if you like belts, it's probably the fastest you can get really. Uh, when you use robots, since uh, you can uh, have a, you don't uh, have uh, this to deal with the slower belts, you go directly to a chest to inserter uh, setup in order to load uh, the train. It's faster uh, than this one. But if you love belts and you don't want to move on even in late game to robot mining, this is probably the best you can get, probably. I'm not 100% sure, but it is up there. It's up there. Anyway, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.